Howdy TPDDO fans and happy What Wednesday and welcome back to our three-part soil and nematode series with Sheila. Today for part two we're going to ask the question what do you do to find nematodes in the soil? And if you need to get caught up you can watch part one by clicking the link that is provided in this post. Enjoy! Well, Ms. McBride, I bet our viewers would love to see you set up a sample. Uh, would you mind if we take a video of you? I would love to. Okay. Follow me. <laughs> okay, Hannah, so this is how it goes. I have a um, what we call a modified Barrowman funnel. Um, it's better than what it used to be in the old days when I did nematodes um, back in the day. Um, but we have a screen that goes down into the water. I put a tissue paper on top of that carefully and then 250 um, cc's of soil goes into the top of the the tissue paper I kind of spread it out even it out and then we're done so 24 in 24 hours we will read what nematodes might be under the microscope It's 24 hours later and we're ready to find out whether or not there are any nematodes. So I take a specialized sieve. It's a 500 micron sieve um, and it will capture if there are any nematodes in the top of this sieve. So I take the soil and I set it aside. Then I take this, the water that we have and Nematodes don't swim, but they do have motion, and gravity pulls them down into the bottom of the pan. So we're going to give it a few good rinses because those nematodes will sometimes just kind of stay at the bottom. Now we're ready to rinse that into what is called a counting chamber right here. It's got lines on it. It helps me guide when I'm looking under the microscope. I want to make sure I get all of those. Remember that nematodes we can't see with our naked eye, so we have to look at them under the microscope. My friend the microscope, I still love my microscopes. This particular microscope is a specialized microscope in that it is called an inverted microscope. The light comes from the bottom and the objectives are at the bottom so that if I do see a nematode, I can see it from the bottom side into my oculars. Lucky for this guy, he doesn't have any plant parasitic nematodes. Yay! You know, Hannah, the entire time I've worked here, I've yet to see what kind of cool stuff Sheila gets to do in the nematology lab, and that was really interesting. I thought so too. Catch us next week for our last and final part of the three-part nematode series when Sheila describes what symptoms nematodes cause. See you then. Bye.